Something like resistance training, uh, physical exercise for men will affect their hormone profile and lead to better muscle mass. Definitely. It's a little bit of a positive feedback loop or a self-fulfilling prophecy, if you will. Uh, chicken or the egg, the same thing. If you do one thing, then the other thing is likely to improve. When people try to lose a large amount of body fat, lean muscle mass will always come with it, whether you're on a GLP-1, like semaglutide or not. So it's important to remember you're, you're balancing these things. And, um, you know, when you get back into having a healthy lifestyle, sometimes it's more important to either naturally optimize or replace your hormones before you've lost a whole bunch of weight and lost a lot of that lean body mass that perhaps wasn't great to lose from a health perspective. I've kind of come up with the pillars of health, diet, exercise, sleep, stress, sunlight, spiritual health even, to help with your health in general, but also hormone optimization. With diet, a couple of the important things is one, not being in too big of a caloric deficit. So if someone tries to quote unquote crash diet, in medicine we call them this a very low calorie diet or VLCD, then you're much more likely to rebound and gain body fat after you come off of it. It's not really sustainable. And part of the reason is because it affects your hormones.